Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Let's start the minigame! Fort Condor! Now, there's a speed bar on the right there. You can increase it and decrease it with the R1 and L1 buttons. So, first things first. Oh, not the repair. We want to get our fighters into position here. So, let's move him down there. Off I go, then! Move him down there. Let's get our attackers ready. I don't know exactly where those beasts are going to go, but we need to get our fight, our attackers ready to go. All right. And as you can see, here's our stoners and catapults already shooting at enemies that aren't there, but they'll get there eventually. Okay, and now I'm going to speed things up. Okay, he's made his position known, and there we go. Okay, let's speed things up now. Okay, yeah, I know. Oh, gotta turn off the fast forward. I forget. It's not exactly a toggle sort of thing. Okay, this beast is heading this way, so I want my fighter or attacker to get ready. I guess I can. And it looks like the beast is going this way. Yeah, yeah. So let's get up here. You don't want to get too far down. Let the enemies come to you, so that way your catapults and stoners can attack the enemy. Don't worry, they can't hurt you, so... Okay, are we all in position yet so it's safe to fast forward? Uh-oh, Wyvern. Let's see, let's get our shooters ready. Right -o. And, uh oh there's a Wyvern coming this way, too. Let's get a shooter up here. Yes, me lord. Okay, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. Get him, shooters! Guns don't kill people. I do! <laughs> okay, stoners don't really hurt the wyverns too much, so let's see. Okay, we're ready to go. Now we want to uh, start attacking. Oops. No. Just uh, click on him, click on the enemy, and attack. Let's have the fighter join in for a little bit of the action, too. Let's have the fighter go in first. Now, if there's two enemies clustered together, you can choose which one you want to attack first. So, I want to go after the beast there. And the attacker, go after the beast, and, okay, the shooter, go after the wyvern. There we go. That ought to do it. Alright, we killed him, so let's get the beast over here. They should be able to take care of him. And we got beasts coming here, so let's attack him, and attack him. There we go. Uh-oh, there's a wyvern coming up that way, too. Help! Help! I'm being repressed! Let's get the shooter over here, into position for the wyvern. Okay, slow it down. Slow it down. There we go. Okay. Who took the most damage here? Yeah, okay, now for the repairers to work, you click on them, and then tell them to repair the unit you want them to repair. So, shooter's looking good. Fighter could use a little bit, so... Let's have the repair heal him. And let's see... Oh, we did pretty good there. All right. Yeah, repair the attacker there. Okay, let's see now. Yeah, fighter. I want the fighter to go in first, because he'll take the least amount of damage from both units. So, let's take out the beast there. See, they're already taking damage because of the catapults and the stoners there. Obviously, stones rolling on the ground aren't going to hurt the wyverns, or at least not that much. Okay, fighter can use a little bit of help. Let's uh, distract the beast over there. Uh-oh, we got beasts coming up the center. Uh-oh, and there's the commander. My blood cries out for the vengeance of my people's blood, which can only be repaid with at least twice as much blood, or maybe three times as much blood. Like if you went to hell, and it was full of blood, and that blood was on fire, and it was raining blood, and maybe that would be enough blood. Uh, but probably not. Okay, we're all clear on the right there, so... We're in pretty good shape. Uh, there's no more wyverns. Once the commander comes out, that's it. There's no more enemies. So, or at least no more new enemies. So yeah, get the fighter into position over here. The commander's just gonna sit there until more, uh, until you defeat all the enemies. So, let's see, we're doing good there. Yeah, we're in good shape. So now we just wait for the enemy to come to us. Speed it up a little. Okay, there we go. Wait a little longer. Okay, we're at the position. Okay, now let's start attacking. 
you want to wait as long as possible before attacking so that way the enemies are weakened as much as possible by your stoners and catapults there. Now, the defenders will have a very important duty coming up against the commander here because the commander has so much HP, the defenders are the only ones who can really withstand uh, or stand up long enough against him. So, yeah, let's just wait around for them to come up. Let's see, fighter. Yeah, I want him to get into position over here. Fighters are also pretty useful against commanders. Okay, speed it up a little. There we go. Yeah, shooters can uh, fall back now. We're done with them. And join in on the fun. Why not? Fighter, join in on the fun there. Okay, we got him. Okay, slow it down. Now everyone fall back. See, we didn't run into any, uh, what are those guys? Barbarians. But that's okay. Yeah, a fighter could use some healing, so let's fall back there. And we want to select the repairer to repair my fighter there. Defender is in position. How's my fighter doing over here? Yeah, let's get him over here. Okay, now all we have to do is uh, lure the commander up there. I'll attract the enemy with my human call. I'm so wasted! I'm so wasted! Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, uh, oh! Get out of there! Repair my fighter. Now I'm gonna send in my defenders to take on the commander first, so, but it looks like we're in pretty good position here. Yeah, full HP, full HP. Yeah, there we go. Good job. Once the commander gets about here, that's when I'm going to start sending everyone in. So let's speed it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, move in, troops! Finish him! Send in the fighters. But yeah, what I was saying about the barbarians, they're kind of like defenders, but they have, like, bows, so they can... Uh, attack you from a distance, too. But they're not too much to worry about. Defenders are pretty good against them. And you just basically gang up on the commander and voila! Ha ha! Now, if you, if you fail to halt the enemy attack, then, well, you'll have to fight the commander with Cloud and your party members, actually. It'll be like a normal battle. Which we may want to do eventually. Because there's some items that we can actually win from the battle that we normally couldn't get otherwise. Yay! Okay, we get half our money back, so, well, there you go. Of your troops that are left. And there's a magic comb. It's a weapon for Red 13. I don't know why he uses combs for weapons, but well, there you go. Now, there's several battles that can be fought here at Fort Condor uh, throughout the game. Uh, each one can only be started after a particular event has occurred, because, well, as this guy says, uh, well, okay, there's no activity from Shinra, but they'll be back eventually. Uh, you can trigger each event kind of to start another battle, kind of like with the New Game Plus endings from Chrono Trigger. Uh, for each battle you win here, you'll get a new item. Like, I got a magic comb for this one, I can get a different item for winning other battles throughout the game. And um, the thing is, though, sometimes, you know, the item that it displays, they're like, there, it was a magic comb. It really is a magic comb. But, like, sometimes they'll have a typo there, or it'll be a completely different item that, from what is displayed there or something. Like, I think one's a tincture, but there are no tinctures in this game. It's actually an other. Uh, sometimes there's just a blank space there. It doesn't even tell you what you want, so you have to kind of guess what that new item in your inventory is. Now, if you're really interested in me showing off the Fort Condor battles, let me know. I mean, there's like, I don't know, 15-something battles that can be fought throughout the game. Uh, to be honest, they're really mostly the same, with gradually more and more enemies per battle. I was thinking of showing them all as bonus episodes, you know, like two a day or something. Like, I'll show something from the storyline that day, but then do a bonus episode for the day as a Fort Condor battle, kind of like how I did Chrono Trigger Appendices. Uh, by the 
by default, I, I would just assume, tell you when you can go back here and for another battle and what item you can win if you do and off-screen the battle, but if enough of you guys ask me, I guess I can show all the Fort Conroe battles. I mean, just ask and I'll think about it, so. Well, that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Next time, we'll leave Fort Condor and head for Genome, but there's a specific person that I want to meet on the way there. We'll have to find out next time! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!